Hello Internet, welcome back to Fix It Anyway. Uh, we are just recovering from the perils of using a bicycle work stand as a camera stand. Welcome back. Camera moving. Oh God. No, 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 no. What, what are you, why, why, why? Okay, let's do that bolt up a little bit better. Don't want to break my phone. It's the only phone I've got. Right, um, today we're going to be looking at WIPs or UFOs, they are called, work in progress projects, uh, unfinished object projects. And I've got a wonderful, wonderful one right here. Uh, we've got a Nerf magazine that I 3D printed a long time ago in lovely, lovely hex because 3D printed. Everything 3D printed has to be in hex. It fits all my Nerf blasters really well. It seems to work rather well, but I abandoned this project. And I abandoned this project for one reason, and that's because it didn't quite work. Um, this was intended to be a sort of modular system. There's another part here on the bench um, where you can take this, you can add one of these, you can add 10 of these if you like, if you've got a long enough pusher spring and just make as many of these wonderful, wonderful hex mags as you like. The best thing about this sort of clip magazine system, whatever you want to call it, uh, being modular and having all the holes in it is not necessarily that you can see all your beautiful darts going through because that is very nice. It's actually that it uses very little plastic um, compared to the alternatives. Now, there are printed alternatives out there. This is a normal Nerf mag um, attached to a printed mag. And these can be extended. There's various extenders that you can put on them and, and make as many uh, capacities as you like. As you'll see, printed mags get a bit damaged. This one's lost its dart retainer at the top. That is a theme. A lot of my printed mags are like that. Once you drop them, they smash. Very similar to these off-brand mags, actually. Once you drop them, they smash as well. But you can see that actually, just compared with this, that is a big old chunk of plastic. And this, much, much lighter. There's, there's hardly any plastic in there because of the hex pattern. So I thought that would be awesome. I thought that would be a brilliant, brilliant thing to bring to the Nerf community. Everyone can have these. They'll see their beautifully coloured darts, they'll use no plastic, they'll look amazing, they'll be able to stack as many as they want to make a 9 million round mag, as long as they've got a, a big enough pusher spring. But the project stopped, and I think it just basically stopped for one reason, or, or perhaps two. The pusher's not quite high enough. The darts rattle around. So, in your springers, quite often, this will jam, because the, the, the breach will come in like that and, and try and smash it off. And, and make a mess of your lovely koosh. This one's all pretty uh, knackered already. So I think all that needs to be done to unstick this UFO or WIP or whatever it is, is to get this pusher the right shape. And we've got a bit of a clue in the pusher that came with the other 3D printed Mac. I mean, this 3D printed pusher, it's a pretty similar design, but it's got a little bit, it's a little bit taller. This is my design here. Um, but my stops are the same height. So these bits here, they, they stop at the same height. So you see my one is sort of maybe 10 mil too short, about a, you know, almost a darts width too short. So all I need to do is build something like this on top of this in the 3D printer, and hopefully we can unstick this. The only other concerns I have with this project are the extension piece. That seems to be okay, actually. I think I got around that issue in the end. Um, the trouble with printing stuff like this and the system I've used here, which is basically they push together and some little clips slide on, is that if you print them upright, you get this huge piece of support that goes up the side here. And it's a real pain just to support this very little edge of the clip. So I think you can get around that by printing these on their sides and then, and then have infinite expandability. So that's probably not a problem. I will check that out when I go back to the printer. The other thing is springs. Now this is using a spring out of a broken off-brand Mac. Um, you can make springs out of music wire and other things. There's plenty of tutorials about that. But the original um, mag here, the printed mag, can use a 3D printed spring. And as you can see from this one, it has seen better days. These springs, they kind of work. They're all right, but they're not, they're not very consistent. They're actually a little bit strong for the application and they're very, very thick. So they don't squish down and they, and they take out your capacity. So it may be that this 3D printed spring was the reason I abandoned this project because it's not very good. We'll go back to the 3D printer, uh, we'll go back to the computer, we'll do a bit of CAD work and we'll see what we can do to unstick this project. And 
and here we are the finished product it's a 25 uh dart clip or magazine depending on what you want to say it goes all the way along here it's held together by two little clips you can see them because they're purple up against the black so what we did with this to finish the um mag itself which can have a bottom clipped onto it it doesn't have to be extended into a 25 dart mag we really just uh, messed around with this little pusher here it's a little bit shorter you can see it's sitting at a bit of an angle um it's probably a little bit less optimal like that but it does still run um up and down these little channels which is fine by me that'll that'll do as a fix in my book um the best way to make sure that your pusher does run straight and and true and, and especially with printed parts where there's all sorts of burrs and overlaps and odd bits is to just get something uh, like one of these uh or a ruler and just run it up and down a few times, push it up and down, make sure that it's going to be uh, nice and free moving for when you put the darts in. Um, and then you can go and have as much nerfing fun as you like. Now, the secret to getting the extender, which is this purple portion here, uh, printed off, was actually relatively simple. All I needed to do was take the clip and flip it upside down. Um, and just put a top on it essentially all it is is it's this same clip but rather than the dart holder at the top it's just got a flat top on it now this means we can't just stack them endlessly it is a little bit rough around the edges um you'll see if you look here the hex pattern doesn't quite line up um when you look down it you can actually see there's a channel still from where the uh channel is on the outside here to mount it into the magwell of the blaster i've got to go into the cad program and um, suppress a couple of sketches to make that channel go away it's not a completely finished finished uh, polished product but it's done and it takes 25 darts and that's good enough for me let's move over to the blasters and we'll fire some darts and see how this performs now it does fit my Endstrike series blasters, it fits my Elite series blasters, and it fits my 3D printed uh, clip on my modified barricade. So let's stick it in and do some shooting. Okay, we're back in the chair. As I've said, it's not perfect. The pusher is a little bit short, but that lets me get one more dart in it, so I'm quite happy about that. This mag on its own will take 11, maybe 12 darts. If the pusher was any longer, that would be down to 9 or 10. And there's some channels that need messing around with here. The hex pattern doesn't line up, but it works, and I'm counting that as finished. I'm going to release the files on my Thingiverse for anyone who wants to print it, let the community take it and do what they want with it, it's uh, got many reasons why you might not want to use this as a magazine in a war if you are going to get dirt in it or, or anything else. But if you've got the right blaster or if you like the pattern or if you want something light or something to print, this will do you good, I think. Project finished. Awesome. And thank you very much for coming on this ride with me. This has been amazing to get done. It's been literally years in the making and it's just nice to have something that I can pop into a blaster and fire a load of darts downrange. Thank you so much. I'll put the files out there for people to uh, print. Be really grateful if you could click subscribe, see when the next videos are coming out, support the channel, give the video a like. Let me know your comments below. Would you use this in a war? Have you thought of something similar? 
Uh, are you going to print it? If you do, definitely let me know how it went. And thank you very much for coming on this adventure with me.